Well, for most people, the name Nosler means bullets. And of course, the company is famous for its bullets and now for its loaded cartridges as well. But Nosler is also in the firearm business. And not only is Nosler in the rifle business, but technically, Nosler is also now in the pistol business. This is a Model 48 based handgun. There are various versions of this gun. This is an earlier version of what in some cases has become known now as the, as the Nosler Independence. But this particular model is sort of a, a precursor to that. And it has a fully machined aluminum chassis that extends all the way back here to incorporate the entire Model 48 rifle action. And then has an integral trigger guard it's recessed here for a cross bolt safety, and it also has a, a portion here that is designed to accept an AR style pistol grip. This is a big handgun. It's a 15 inch barrel, and it's a fairly stout profile barrel. The, the gun ends up weighing about six and a half pounds, and it's about 21 inches or so overall length. Now, all of these Nosler handguns tend to have threaded uh, muzzles, and so this one is equipped with simply a muzzle cap, but some of the models come with factory supplied brakes that almost appear to be integral with the barrel, although I believe they're all attached with threads. Uh, you have a rail on top of this Model 48 action, and this particular uh, Nosler handgun is mounted with a loophole VX Freedom 1.5 to 5 by 28 scout scope. So it does have appropriate eye relief for this. It has a pair of the, the QRW rings, so it can be removed off the gun relatively quickly. Of course, the officer doesn't come with any sights, so you do have to have an optic mounted on it. But if your pursuits are a little shorter range, but you need the power of this gun, you could even mount a red dot on this, on this platform, and that would be fine too. It's almost like having a rifle-sized firearm without a buttstock. So this is for the serious handgun shooter who finds handgun hunting uh, a challenging sport, and it is. I've done a little bit of it, and I've been on some trips with some fellows who were a lot more experienced, and it's very impressive what a handgun like this can do because it really does pack rifle performance in a fairly small package. Uh, the bolt on the Nosler pistol is fluted. Uh, it also, it's a, it's a basic two lug uh, bolt, horizontally opposed lugs. It has an M16 style extractor and a plunger ejector. Very simple, uh, knurled bolt knob, uh, cocked indicator on the cocking piece here. This is a, again, a Model 48 rifle action, so nothing out of the ordinary for those who are familiar with those guns. It's got a basic 90 degree bolt throw. And so the thing about the Nosler is despite the fact that it's, it's a relatively heavy handgun at over six pounds, but right now it's chambered only in short action cartridges, 308 length uh, case cartridges. And so that includes, of course, some of the Nosler proprietary cartridges, such as 22 Nosler. So handguns like this aren't for everybody, but if you are into the challenge of long range handgun shooting of game, the Nosler is one of the few guns out there that really uh, fits this, this description. Uh, there have been others in the past, like the Remington XP100, Savage has had some, but that, that uh, range of handguns has always been fairly limited. The Nosler is really one of the best. I mean, this is a high quality platform that is designed to have a lot of versatility for those into the pursuit of game at long range with handguns. For more on the Nosler 48 based handguns, including the Independence, visit nosler.com. And for more guns of the week, visit AmericanRifleman.org.